Hello there, I'm Ethan, the head of support at Opentrons. This is the first video in a series we are calling From Box to Protocol. In this video series, I will take you through the process of unboxing, setting up, now that's a great calibration, and running a protocol on the O22. For this first video, I'm going to go through how to unbox the OT2. One of the largest value adds of the OT2 is its ease in setting up. So let's get started. First, I'm going to do a quick overview of the materials I need to unbox the OT2. For the unboxing, I will need box cutters, which are not included with the OT2, and a partner. The OT2 weighs 48 kilograms or 106 pounds, so they will help me lift the OT2 out of the box and onto the workbench. The first thing I need to do would be to take the box cutters and cut along the top of the box and then lift the lid off the box. Now that the box is open, there's a thin layer of foam above a thicker layer of foam that houses the top panel and the side panels. Now there's a piece of plastic that houses the OT2. Uh, this is on here so the OT2 doesn't get wet during its travel. So I will cut this open now. I will need help lifting the OT2 out of the box and onto the workbench. Here it is, the OT2. As you can see, it fits perfectly on the table. It's a 60 centimeter aluminum and steel cube. There is some protective film that are covering the windows. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that right now. Lastly, I'm going to cut the zip ties holding the accessory box to the deck. This accessory box includes all the equipment I need to set up the OT2, so I'll set this side. I'll also want to take these zip ties off the deck. For this, I'll need the two and a half millimeter hex screwdriver that comes in the accessory box. There are two screws that hold the removable deck to the OT2 frame. I'm going to unscrew those now and pull the zip ties through. Once those two screws are unscrewed, I can remove the deck by sliding it out. And I'll just need to cut these two zip ties and pull the zip ties through. Back on. And I will now screw in the two screws I just unscrewed. So that's it for unboxing the OT2. Thanks for checking out the first video in the series From Box to Protocol. Next, I will continue with the setup of the OT2, which includes unlocking the OT2, setting up the Opentrons app, and calibrating the OT2. Bye for now.